labels create a subconscious mental boundary and, and it kind of confines you. A label keeps you inside and it, it, it limits your ability to do anything. Uh, and, and definitely don't label yourself as lazy. Don't label yourself as, well, you know, my ADD is going to stop, stop, stop. Don't do that. Don't label yourself as, well, I'm not a morning. Stop it. You are a morning person. You can concentrate. You are not lazy. Stop putting negative labels on yourself and speak uh, of yourself in the positive frame of mind and start seeing and saying things in, in a positive way. Life's going to work for you. But until then, I need you to know this. I can state a fact. You can search CNN, you can search USA Today, look on MSNBC and look on Fox News. You won't find it printed anywhere that this is not going to be the best week of your life. You won't find it on any website, in any newspaper, on any blog. You can't pick up anything where it's already been destined that this is not going to be the best week of your life. You need to expect this week. It's destined. I just spoke that into existence. This is going to be a great week for you. There's no reason for it not to be. I need you to believe. Do you believe? I need you to believe. I believe. We're getting ready to sign off. I believe this is going to be your best week ever. So Rosie, Maria, Alejandra, everyone out there, I need you to just know. I love you. This association of realtors and its staff loves you. So there you've been told, you've heard it. It was spoken, it was spoken to you. There's no reason for you to believe now that this weekend gonna be great because you're loved. You're loved, you're loved. When you are flat on your back and you can't help yourself, you had better learn how to humble yourself. When you are at the, the, the whim beck and call of other people around you and you can't even speak the language, you had better have learned how to humble yourself so that your spirit, so that the person inside you will allow yourself to receive help. So many of us are going through issues in our life, in our relationships, in our jobs, with our finances, with our children. And because you're not paying attention to the signs, because you're not listening to the experts, because you haven't humbled yourself to get down on the next person's level, that is why you're staying in the crisis that you're in. If you want to bust out of the situation you're in, bust out of what's going on in your life right now, pay attention to the signs, listen to the experts, and humble yourself. I'm trying to help somebody. It is now 949. This is Uplift with Cliff. It is the 23rd, the Thanksgiving edition. I want you to ask yourself this. What do I need to let go of to keep up with who I am? Ooh, 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 I cut you deep. What do I need to let go of to keep up with who I am? Type it in the bottom of the screen so that you remember it. What are you going to let go today that's keeping you from becoming who you are? What are you going to let go of today that's keeping you from making those appointments and making your calls? What are you going to let go of today that's keeping you from getting in your car and going out there and putting yourself in front of who you need to? What are you going to let go of today that's keeping you from being bold, that's keeping you from being authentic, that's keeping you from being the person you really want to be? What are you going to let go of today that's stopping you from being who you are supposed to be? Be. Do you know who you are? And if you know who you are, what are you going to let go of today that's stopping you from being who you're supposed to be? Today is time for you to let it go. Today is time for you to push it aside. Today is the time for you to let go. Fake people, fake friends, fake friendships, fake relationships, fake money making things, things that you claim make money but aren't really making you a dime. Today is time for you to let go of fake things like that and fill your life with positive things that are going to get you where you need to be. You need to find out who you are and be who you are. That's why this is going to be the best week ever because this week is going to be the week you pop your collar, you brush your shoulders off and you figure out who you are. But what you're going to do in the midst of all that is you're going to stop people pleasing. Today you tell yourself no more. It's time for you to stop playing the role of the doormat 
is start becoming selfish and putting yourself first. For every second you remain in the people pleaser role. Uh oh, Tico. Uh oh. Uh oh, here we go. For every second that you remain in the people pleaser mode, a piece of you dies. Uh oh. For every second that you remain in the people pleaser role, a piece of you dies. Now, I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to cut you like that. Tico, I could sell that in a CD for $79.99, but I'm not. I'm going to give it to him for free today on Uplift. It's time for us to get ready to get out of here. Rosie Papa Giannakis, I can't do it if I don't have you. I need you. Lisa, you are more than a conqueror. Wendy, boom, you're awesome. Reese Stewart, teamwork makes the dream work. I couldn't do it without you, Reese. I wouldn't be here if you weren't here, Reese. Arlene, I love you. All you uplifters, I need you to know that I love you. Now, get up, get out, and get some business. Get up, get out, and make it happen. Get up, get out, and be the hero that you're looking for. I love you.